Apple Original Films. Driving, looking in the rearview mirror, more driving, excitement. See, it's clever because the title of the movie, which is Ghosted, appeared out of thin air and disappeared like a ghost. And all of this is true, except for the part about it being clever. No movie, you're someplace in Maryland or Virginia that I guarantee has a name. How many Claudia Yates could one person possibly know to feel the need to add doctor to their contact list? Director said, get an extreme close-up of Apple CarPlay. This way the audience knows this Subaru is an asshole. No pesticides, more nutrients, just tastes better. You know? They already bought what you were selling. Chill out before they start to think you poisoned them. Also, can vegetables get any more pretentious than microgreens? Discuss. Chris Evans is not wearing a sweater in this scene. This not air tag showing up in a movie streaming on Apple TV Plus being pretty good evidence that even Apple thinks Cole's use of them to stalk Sadie is going too far. And illegal, I hope. How about if you find me something a little less needy? They will now casually allude to all their relationship problems five minutes in to eliminate any doubt that we are watching a rom-com. The sexual tension was off the charts. It was not. Also, assuming because two people are fighting, they would also be a great love match. Cole was a huge dick to Sadie, Edna. Why would you set her up to have all that potential bullshit in her life? He's gonna hit her up here shortly with cactus emojis. Cactus emojis! What have you done, Edna? Hey, hey, stop! Ah! Sadie, you perched that thing right on the edge of the seat. What the f did you think was gonna happen? A coffee. You wanna get a... yeah, like... now? <laughs> yes, now. Sadie says f you to Cole's vegetables. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Cole says f you to Cole's vegetables. Lincoln got shot just across the street and he died right next door. Sounds like you're a big fan of Lincoln. Sounds more like he's a big fan of his murder. You've never seen The Exorcist? It's a classic. Bemoaning someone for having not seen a movie you love. May I suggest being nicer and recommending maybe a YouTube video that covered The Exorcist and all of its... Mm, sins, or something like that. All the extras in this shot were told to act as if the camera was not even there. This person tried too hard, and this person didn't try at all. You ever felt like getting a drink sometime? How about now? Sadie says, I hope your vegetables are gone and your business is dead. Okay. Cole says, I hope my vegetables are gone and my business is dead. Everyone in this bar is having an unrealistic amount of fun, and there isn't a guy passed out in the corner getting rubber ducks thrown at him. Rocky Oaking on a first date. Good night, then. I mean, good morning. They were together for all day and all night? What the f*** were they doing after the bars closed for those last two or three hours? And it wasn't sex because they're about to have that. And where's Cole's car? Where's Sadie's car? Who took care of closing down Cole's stand? Why was there never a theatrical follow-up to a very Brady sequel? I have to know! Bye. He will contemplate leaving, she will stand by the door thinking she shouldn't open it back up for him, then will both eventually do the opposite and have an early morning bang session while we could have been spared this will they or won't they bullshit cliche. A lot of really cinematic things going on, but none of them resemble actual sex had by humans. Hey, Cole Slaw. Acknowledging your son's mayonnaise. Thanks for closing up the stand for me last night. Movie thinks that I will give back a sin for answering the who closed Cole's stand mystery. Movie would be wrong. And here's another sin for being presumptuous. Okay now, come on, spill the beans. Cole's parents wanted to know how his sex capade went. You took a selfie in bed while she was asleep. This is a crime for which Cole is not prosecuted. We wouldn't dare play it, but the fun pop music in the background does not match the obsessive text that we are reading. If there's one thing I've learned from movies, it's that 90% of farming is building fences. So she ghosted him. Ghosted? Guess I'll roll credits. And roll credits? It wasn't a leave behind. I forgot it in her purse. And it has one of those, uh tiles on it, those tracking things that I use. So you'll be able to track her. Unless, of course, she cleaned out her purse and left the inhaler at her house. But, of course, she still has it with her, because how else would we get these hilarious hijinks from our two protagonists? And for the record, Cole, based on his behavior thus far, does not deserve to be in any relationship at this point in his life. The woman of my dreams is in... London. London, or just simply England. Let's give two sins, because I hate that I had to say either by name. Cole? You should go over there. He should not. To think that I was actually liking you, Mom, even after you asked Cole about his sex from the previous night. Coleslaw, don't worry about the farm. Yeah. By the horns, come on. Uh, These are terrible parents. You remember that spring break where I was supposed to go to Spain and I gave up my seat and I got a voucher? I'm calling bullshit on the mystery airline he was supposed to fly on around two decades ago still existing. And that airline also handing out vouchers with no expiration date. In case you confused it with London, Texas. An international art curator doesn't have an overseas calling plan. That's very unusual. Owen Harper would be the torture of wood at Ghosted Sins. Is it a little cactus, is it? I'd give all the sins back if he explained how he got that thing through customs. Based on no evidence other than him standing in this spot at this moment with a rollaway, they will assume he is the spy they are looking for, and that is dumb. Listen to me. I can't believe I'm quoting the tax man to you. American actor plays a foreign bad guy in an action movie with a silly accent cliche. <laughs> That murder hornet should be smashed all over his face. They set a trap for one of our agents, and you fell into it. Agents? 
Art agents? Cole still thinks Sadie is an art curator. I thought you were different too. Sweet, fun, low maintenance. I can't believe I was gonna call you when I got back. In all fairness, he abandoned his work at a moment's notice to hang out with a stranger for 24 hours. There were red flags prior to the text and the surprise visit to London. Emoji stuff doesn't count. Yes, it does. Emoji stuff counts. It depends. Are we really gonna count the aerial tramway emoji? Prior to this moment, only like five people knew it existed. I saw the rock! Going from that to this in less than a minute. These two guys who have accidentally learned to fly are notably absent from the follow-up shot. <laughs> Cole flies through a fucking windshield and has this one little bullshit cut on his face. <laughs> Carcourt. Why would that rail even rotate to the side like this? That shit broke. Cole is falling to his death, and the rest of this movie is a fantasy his brain cobbled together in the last few seconds. Cole Captain America's the fuck out of this guy, and we now have to ask why he was acting like the weakest Avenger earlier. Cole! Are you comfortable? Sadie is giving Cole shit about the current position he's in, a position which she fucking put him in. This movie is 90% forced animosity. It's meant to be a joke. It was a lot funnier before I used it to kill a man. It was never funny. The tax man has a face. No matches in the intelligence databases. They must be running him off the books. So maybe he's not the tax man? Why are these idiots not even considering that? I believe I was supposed to laugh at the inclusion of Target. I did not. Well, excuse me for fudging a few details to try and impress the most amazing woman I've ever met. I wish this movie would skip trying to make this relationship happen. They both get out without paying or thanking the person who just drove them four hours to their destination on a route that, according to my Maps app, has tolls. Let me put something inside you. Using this turn of phrase to let someone know you're getting them something to eat. Levec. This Christ French intelligence. He's French? You know what I miss most, mate? Guess. As someone who broke the wrist in high school, I am uniquely qualified in the matter and would like to remind Marco of the human spirit and his other hand. I'm the best bounty hunter alive. Foreshadowing your own death. Death shadowing. For deathing? God, you two need to get a room. I honestly can't tell if the action cliches are worse than the romantic comedy cliches, but I hate both of them. Called a leopard, but even leopards get killed. By lions. So who is he? The conveniently being in the backseat of a car he had no way to know they would all get in assassin guy? And even if this is a leopard's car, God the bounty hunter would have to be 100% positive that the leopard would be able to get the target away from grandson of Sam. I can't believe these are words I'm saying. Tuning my senses. Deus ex machina. Aztec is inside a high security case that cannot be opened without a passcode. Do you mean a MacGuffin is inside a MacGuffin case that cannot be opened without a MacGuffin? Kill her when you touch down. When they touch down? If they're going to kill her, why not do it here? Did Levesque read the script? This is bigger than you and me. And my plan worked. And there's no way everyone on the plane didn't just hear her say that. I can't believe you took a picture of me while I was sleeping. Not of you, of us. The movie has time for this now, but doesn't have time for the litigation that should occur later. I'm not a creep. I mean, I think that is what the movie wants us to believe, but it's not working. What are you doing? I have no idea. And neither did the movie, because it cuts from that nonsense to them lounging on the beach. There's no reason Sadie couldn't have pushed this convenient call the Marines to come to the rescue button hours ago when the sun was still up. It's Perry Winkle and Gavilana. I found it up the beach, smashed it up, and put it in there to stop the bleeding, fight the infection. How did you know how to do that? He guessed, like a real man. I read about it. No! I just don't get why you never left the country. And I don't get that out of all the things Sadie should be hung up on with Cole, him not leaving the country is at the top of that list. I just can't believe that that little shit is still in one piece. I just can't believe he grabbed the cactus before jumping from the plane. Sorry about the selfie. I'm sorry about the gag. Call it even. Deal. <laughs> Fucking what? The element of surprise. We got these ATVs. We're going to drive in like assholes all over this island because extreme. Six foot honeypot, sent a kiss and nibbled the secrets right out of you. I'm not the honeypot in this scene. You'll be lucky to have the job at all when it's done. Excuse me, is her career more important than the biochemical weapon that could, um, what was it again? Wipe out the eastern seaboard. Oh yeah, that. What am I looking at? A house plant? Well, it's not a house plant, that's an amaranth, a crop. But it's also a plant in a house. I know you're angry, but this is a mistake. Protecting the people you love is never a mistake. Maybe one day you'll care enough about someone to understand that. Whoa, pump the brakes, asshole. She just said... It's too dangerous. They're using you. She's trying to protect your dumb ass. That was all the heart-to-heart -heart bullshit you two just went through on the beach means you have no reason to be all pissy just because she had second thoughts about prioritizing your life over the lives of everyone on... The Eastern Seaboard. So take your third act tension and shove it in your all-organic piehole farm boy. I know more about Levesque's operation than anyone. Go home, Sadie. 
and stay there. Anyone who's seen a movie knows she won't stay there. You can't do this with three guys. The CIA can't operate on U.S. soil. We had to travel light. Seems more like you should invite one of the other three-letter agencies to the party instead of half-assing your job. Choosing the shot where the extras are visibly starstruck. A table for Mr. Taxman. Yes, right this way. Cole just said the words, table for Mr. Taxman, and this hostess didn't even blink an eye. That's impressive. Everything will be fine. We've got it all under control. And the bad guys will never get near you. Aren't they going to be sitting at the table with him? She's coming. I know it. My college girl. I'm going to call this the Brody Slide and hope it develops into one of those social media challenges and I get to see a bunch of people just being weird in restaurant booths for like a week. That would be a good week. Oh yeah, and the sin is how much time this sh added to the movie. The passcode. Now! Or you both die. Yelling out incriminating evidence in a crowded restaurant. This sultry yet serious entrance being soundtracked by the Beatles Taxman is as good a time as any to sin this movie for... Making the name Taxman 10% of the script and 27% of our sins. Much more on that later. I don't know how many bounty hunters are here. But you should probably have checked to see if there was at least a couple, no? One? Maybe? Also, there shouldn't be any, unless she set up the bounty much earlier. So I don't know why it looks like they are all finding out about the bounty right now. Also, also, John wicking your movie without John Wick. And what's funny, like you, didn't actually have them on until just now. The bounty hunters didn't need to know that. Are we sure she's not a villain? Because she just overexplained the hell out of her plan for no fucking reason. Did Sadie just throw a vial containing a dangerous chemical weapon up in the air in the hopes that Cole would catch it? Because I'm pretty sure Sadie just threw a vial containing a dangerous chemical weapon up in the air in the hopes that Cole would catch it. The realization that this is the heartwarming story of how a small town boy learned murder can be fun. Sadie? Oh, I'm now alive. Funny, because I thought you were a forced cameo. RPMs are exceeding safe speed. Why and how do you design a building to exceed a safe speed? Cole is still in this fight. And it's hilarious that you can now look to cellular as a more realistic approach to how a normal character played by Chris Evans can survive when the stakes get this high. Something worked here. I don't know what it was, but I know that it in no way required this dangly thing we just got a close-up of. There's Working nothing together. you have that I want. To be fair, Levesque does not look like the type of guy who would text you a bunch of emojis. So he has that going for him. Get me over there! This was part of a plan that goes on to be successful because of Sadie's training and mastery of physics-defying bullshit. You look amazing in that dress! And you should wear more suits! Relationships based completely on physical attraction. Don't worry about me, I have a whole list of clients I need to hunt down. Being a little too free with those CIA innuendos around Cole's family. Also, Cole does not deserve any of this happy ending bullshit. I guess Sadie conveniently forgot how fucking creepy it was that Cole inhaler tracked her down to London and flew all the way out there without giving her a heads up. Or that he texts cactus emojis. Cactus emojis! Date night. Why is he still putting his stuff back there? Why did Sadie pop the goddamn trunk in the first place? These fucking psychopaths are just gonna go take in a show with a guy simmering in the trunk. Pretty sure evil prevailed in this movie. Taxman. I'm quoting the taxman. The taxman killed the lane. The taxman has the passcode. Murder the taxman. I'm, I'm not a taxman. Ask me about the taxman. Ask you about the taxman. I am a taxman. You're the taxman. The taxman called the taxman. You're the taxman. The taxman. The taxman. What the taxman looks like. The taxman. Not the taxman. The taxman. The taxman. The taxman it up. Don't use taxman as a verb. Because I'm the taxman. I'm the taxman. So you're the taxman. I'm not even the tax. The taxman. The girl sprung the taxman. Find the taxman. Get me the taxman alive. The taxman is ready. The taxman is doing it. The taxman. You're the taxman. You're meeting the taxman. The taxman dies. The taxman. The table for Mr. Taxman. The taxman. The great taxman. You are the taxman. What else? Oh, eggplant does not mean eggplant. And now, here you are. No, no, I'm, I'm not a tax man. They call me the human torch. Get me here. Ladies call me torch. Art curator, my ass. I'ma eat your butt. Be right back. I'll be right back. I know you because I want you. Look at whatever you give. Looks like you got creative with the parachute. You don't understand how the creative mind works like I do. Attention, this is the United States. Attention, Nils is dead. I repeat, Nils is dead, dead. What about my family? Families, everyone knows families don't work.